we're going to predict the major product. Yes. And remember, with radicals, mm -hmm. there are several possibilities. Yeah. However, we still go back to what we just looked at, stability, mm -hmm. picking what was going to be the most stable. Okay. And you know that's going to define what our major product is. Mm -hmm. So what do you think our product, our major product, mm -hmm. would be in this case and why? Um, it would have to be... What kind of radical option do we have? And we can place them with different colors, mm -hmm. just seeing the different options. Okay, so it'd be, we could do, I guess we'd have a few. Good. Um, so we could do, not this one, because that already has four. But honestly, we could do like all of these ones, but they're kind of just the same. Good. So with the same colors, let's put them oh, accordingly. Okay. Now, would these two be the same? Um, oh, wait, no, they wouldn't be. But these ones would. Wait, these ones would. Good. And then these ones would. Yes, I and see. it's based on what it's next to, mm -hmm. the substituents. Good. Okay. So Those good. both are on by the methyl. And then this one mm -hmm. right there. And then we'd get a tertiary, like a tertiary right there. Okay. Um, and that's the only one, that's tertiary. So that's only one. Do this one. And then we have a few, like, primary ones. Okay. So these guys right here. But the, these two wouldn't be... The same, correct? So oh, just that yeah, guy. because this one's attached to the four bonds. Do orange. Like that. Great. I loved that you were not fooled by this. Mm -hmm. A lot of people would have been and said, oh, I can place it pretty much at any carbon. Mm -hmm. That's not true. You can only place or have this radical form mm -hmm. when there is a hydrogen available. Mm -hmm. And that all goes back to mechanism, right? So going back to specifically our propagation step where we are combining that radical mm -hmm. with a non-radical molecule and it's taking it from the bond right. of the hydrogen. Yeah. So that's why hydrogen again had to have been available to us. Yeah. So great. I love that you got that right so far. Nice. Next, what is going to potentially be the major product? Like which radical would we pick from? I would say this one. Why? Because it has the tertiary Beautiful. Yeah. That's why. Exactly. Okay. That's exactly why. And, and you named it here as well. You said that these are primary. Mm -hmm. So that's the weakest. Mm -hmm. That's not the most stable. So it's not going to produce the major product. Right. That would have been a minor product. Yeah. Then I know that these are secondary because mm -hmm. they're attached to two other carbons. Mm -hmm. Same with these. That's not the best one. The best one would have been tertiary. It's attached to three carbons. Mm -hmm. So great. Okay. I'm now going to say forget those. I accounted for them, but that's not the best option. Mm -hmm. The option that I'm choosing is going to be the tertiary one. Right. So let's draw it out. Let's okay. build our product. So now it'd be, we just basically replace the radical mm -hmm. with the halogen. It would look like that. It would look like that. Perfect. Yay. That's it. And it's, again, going back to this mechanism, just knowing that I already formed, I did that initiation step, mm -hmm. right? I did that initiation step. I formed the radical. Actually, you ended up forming two. I'm now going to use that radical and specifically this tertiary position. Mm -hmm. I'm taking from the hydrogen that has to exist there right. for me to even continue this reaction. Mm -hmm. And that's where I'm taking, I'm going to account for both of those electrons, doing that single-headed arrow. Mm -hmm. That's how we're going to end up forming this bond. Actually, the first step is still going to be forming that the radical that we mm -hmm. just did here. So this goes back on to that carbon. I'll draw this out again. And like it's possible that you might be asked to show the mechanism. Mm -hmm. I know that this electron now moves here and I form my radical. Mm -hmm. We have not added that bromine just yet. Right. Instead, this is where the step goes from, we still have, again, two bromines mm -hmm. that are attached. This is where we're going to add on that bromine. So this electron combines with this electron to form that bond, mm -hmm. and we reform the radical, and it keeps going. Mm -hmm. Propagation, remember, it keeps going. We're not stopping the reaction, which is termination, mm -hmm. which ends it with no radicals at all. Mm -hmm. However, we have to regenerate another radical. Every time. But propagation, I'd say that's the main step because mm -hmm. that's what's actually forming our product. Right, yeah. So I'll show that, and I know the last step here, I'll draw that out, was just attaching on that bromine, and again, we reformed With that radical. That radical. Mm -hmm. I'll show the radical in blue. 
But that would have been the propagation step. Okay, yeah. Which again, it is the main one that we care about. It's the main one that makes that mm -hmm. major product or makes the product. Lovely. So if you like this practice problem and want to try another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire study session, click right here.